The orange and white glow of the heat shield made the last two V-2 flights unforgettable, but it also exposed real issues such as cooling leaks and oxidation. No one wants to see those problems return. With the debut of the V-3 design on S-39, SpaceX appears to have introduced major upgrades intended to eliminate those weaknesses and open the door to more capable missions ahead. So how has SpaceX improved the Starship V-3 heat shield? Let's break it all down in today's episode of Great SpaceX. From 2025 to 2026, SpaceX fans will witness far more than a simple change in the calendar. This period marks one of the most important transitions in the Starship program so far, as the company moves from the V2 generation to the ambitious V3 design. In this upgrade cycle, the vehicle itself naturally becomes the focus, and the Starship upper stage will take center stage because it is the part that revealed the most issues in earlier versions, despite achieving meaningful milestones. The first representative of this new era is S39, which is now being prepared inside Megabase. Too. Even during its earliest public appearances, its refilling hardware surprised many observers with clear upgrades and refinements. However, beyond that major system, there is another area that has undergone a dramatic transformation. That system is the heat shield. So what exactly is new? The clues were visible weeks before S-39 was fully stacked. As its various sections were rolled toward Megabay 2, the heat shield tiles appeared noticeably different from previous vehicles. Observers who followed each rollout noticed how clean, uniform, and tightly arranged the tiles appeared. The gaps looked significantly reduced, the surfaces were smooth, and the bonding material between tiles appeared more solid and consistent. The same pattern held true across every section that arrived at the bay, and once S-39 was fully stacked, the improvement became even clearer. The entire heat shield looked unified and polished, inspiring confidence. This upgrade is especially meaningful given the challenges SpaceX faced with the V-2 heat shield. During the last two Starship flights, which were both major successes, the vehicles managed to push past the most problematic stages of re-entry and survive long enough to complete their missions. Yet after those flights, we saw the unmistakable signs of stress. Large areas of the heat shield were streaked with white and orange. The white streaks indicated coolant leaks, likely caused by extreme heat entering the gaps between tiles or between the tiles and the structure beneath them. The orange streaks pointed to oxidation, formed when coolant interacted with the metallic test tiles installed on parts of the V2 vehicle. Together, these issues highlighted the vulnerabilities that still had to be addressed, especially in a version that was meant primarily for testing. Now, the expectations for V3 are very different. This version needs to succeed at specific mission-critical tasks that leave very little room for error. That is why the heat shield redesign is so important. The first major upgrade is completeness. S39 appears to carry a full uninterrupted tile set. While a few areas seem to show missing tiles, these are very likely spots where installation simply has not been completed. For the first time, it looks like we will see a fully realized heat shield that reflects the final intended design. This allows SpaceX to evaluate the entire system at full performance and identify any issues that still need refinement. The second upgrade is the tile design itself. Musk previously stated that the V3 generation would incorporate a completely redesigned structure, and that that redesign includes the heat shield tiles. SpaceX may have adjusted the tile compositions, strengthened the material, or added new elements to reduce cracking and prevent damage during the highest heating periods of re-entry. Attachment methods also appear improved. Tile loss was a risk factor in earlier flights, especially when extreme vibrations and heating occurred simultaneously. The new mounting design likely aims to secure the tiles more firmly, while also allowing for controlled expansion under heat. Then there's the issue of gaps. During Flight 11, SpaceX experimented with the crunch wrap solution to reduce the spacing between tiles, which had been a major contributor to earlier heat shield issues. While that approach showed promising results, it was not perfect. V3 will almost certainly use an evolved version that seals these gaps more effectively while still allowing for the flexibility needed during the extreme temperature swings. One of the clearest visual upgrades is the improved bonding at tile corners. 
When looking closely at Ship 39's tile layout, you can see small white filler points at spots where three tiles meet. These appear to be reinforced bonding materials designed to eliminate micro gaps that previously allowed heat to penetrate into the underlying cooling structure. These tiny improvements collectively represent a major leap in reliability. All of this sets expectations sky high for the first V3 flight. S-39's heat shield is not just an upgraded component, it represents the next major step toward a fully reusable, fully reliable starship. And that future is approaching quickly. With Ship 39 now fully stacked, its production phase is essentially complete. The next steps are critical. The vehicle will undergo cryogenic testing, exposing the heat shield and structure to extremely low temperatures to ensure that the tiles remain attached and stable. After that comes the static fire test, which will subject the vehicle to extreme heating and vibration. These stages may begin as early as late this month and continue into the next. Then comes the true test. Flight 12, now aiming for a January launch, will put the V3 heat shield through the full force of atmospheric re-entry. It'll face temperatures, pressure, and aerodynamic forces far beyond any ground test. So, are you excited to see the first real performance of Starship V3's upgraded heat shield? If you are, let me know with a of course in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you can continue following the unfolding journey of SpaceX. The long-term importance of the Starship heat shield extends far beyond a single test flight. It's the foundation that allows the Starship upper stage to return safely, and it is the key to achieving the level of full rocket recovery that SpaceX has envisioned from the beginning. This recovery approach is not simply about splashing down in the ocean, it's about bringing Starship back intact so that it can be caught, returned to the rotation, and prepared for its next mission with maximum efficiency. This is the core of SpaceX's plan for a truly repeatable, truly economical launch system. Reaching that milestone will set Starship apart from every other launch vehicle in development today. Many companies still rely on expendable rockets, either because reducing cost is not their primary focus, or because they do not yet have the technological capability to build a fully reusable system. Even landing a single stage vertically remains an immense challenge. SpaceX has achieved this with two distinct recovery systems. Falcon rockets land on drone ships that weigh downrange in the ocean, while the Starship program aims to use the Mechazilla arms to perform a direct catch that eliminates the need for landing legs and streamlines the entire recovery process. Only one other company, Blue Origin, has managed to land a booster on a drone ship. However, this success came after 25 years of development and the road ahead is still long before they can match the reliability. Along with cadence and record-setting performance that SpaceX has demonstrated with Falcon. Even then, the new Glenn system remains only partially reusable, which means its long-term efficiency can never truly match the capability that Starship will reach once full reuse is proven. Of course, recovery is only part of the story. True reuse depends on how well heat shield protection performs during vehicle re-entry. The tiles must keep Starship in good enough condition that the refurbishment process becomes quick and straightforward. If the heat shield performs perfectly, Starship can be inspected, repaired, and prepared for another launch in a remarkably short amount of time. This is why upgrades to the heat shield system are so critical. The issues observed with Ship 37 and 38, including the visibly damaged tiles, make rapid reuse impossible. Even if SpaceX successfully catches the vehicle, replacing every tile after each mission would defeat the purpose of full reusability. Solving these problems is essential for Starship's long-term operational rhythm. In short, the heat shield is not just another component, it's a central factor that will determine how quickly, how reliably, and how affordably Starship can fly again and again. It'll influence many flights and many vehicles in the years ahead. For the next test flight, catching the vehicle will be a major milestone, but the performance of the heat shield will be equally important for proving that full and rapid reuse is within reach. Looking further into the future, it's clear that the Starship heat shield still has enormous potential for improvement. This is the reason Musk continues to describe the heat shield as one of the two major remaining challenges that SpaceX must overcome in order to achieve sustained multi-planetary operations. The other challenge is the complex process of orbital refilling. Together, these two systems will determine how reliably Starship can travel to destinations like the Moon and Mars. 
The most immediate challenge is the sheer scale of the heat shield. It's constructed from more than 18,000 individual tiles, and that number could increase as the design evolves. Managing such a massive system introduces difficulties at every stage. There are challenges in manufacturing each tile, assembling them in the correct configuration, attaching them securely to the structure beneath, operating and monitoring them during flight, and finally, inspecting and refurbishing them after landing. This is only for a single starship. When SpaceX begins building dozens or even hundreds of vehicles, the complexity will grow to an entirely new level. To manage a system of this size, SpaceX will need strategies that reduce issues at the earliest possible stages. Preventing problems before they appear will be far more efficient than repairing them later. During manufacturing, SpaceX may need to expand mass production and adopt new technologies that streamline the process. The goal is to make tile production faster, more uniform, and more reliable so that the heat shield becomes simpler to maintain throughout the vehicle's service life. Another significant challenge is the complexity beneath each tile. The heat shield system is not only a layer of protective plates, depending on the design, there may be ablative layers, active cooling systems, or the newer crunch wrap concepts integrated underneath. When each tile contains multiple components, the entire system becomes more complicated to build, inspect, and repair. Simplifying these substructures or integrating them into a more unified design will be essential for long-term operational efficiency. A heat shield that is easier to assemble is also one that is easier to reuse, which is the ultimate goal. These two challenges, being scaling the system and simplifying its internal structure, are the most pressing issues SpaceX must address. Still, there may be other concerns that emerge as the program advances. What weaknesses do you see in the current heat shield design and what solutions would you propose? Share your thoughts so we can explore them together. We are now approaching a Starship version filled with promise. Throughout this year, both the booster and the ship have received continual upgrades, and the new heat shield stands out as the defining feature that will move Starship closer to rapid and complete reuse. As Starship V3 begins its flight campaign next year, pay close attention not only to its orbit maneuvers, payload operations, and two-stage landing efforts, but also to the performance of its protective armor. The next chapter is about to begin, so get ready for what comes next. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.